when we talk about parking management software, one of the basic things that we want to be able to do is to give different cars the ability to enter to different parking lots. To one parking lot, to two parking lots, three or four, depends on what are the access permissions we want to allow these uh, cars. Now, of course, we are talking about groups. So we're going to go into the parking group, okay? Basically, a parking group is under a company. It, mean, it means that every company can create its own parking groups. So for our example, we have three companies. Company one, it has one parking group. We already created that. Company two has group, parking group number two. And company three has no parking groups. So what we're going to do now is to create a parking group. And while we do it, we're going to understand the logic behind it. So let's say that company three has three departments. Okay, technical department, sales, and another one that we will come out later. So we're going to create the first parking group and we're going to name it, so we remember it, technical parking group. Okay, this parking group will uh, host only the vehicles that belong to the technical department. Okay, and now we choose the, the parking lots that this te technical department will be able to access. So in this case, of course, we have only one parking lot. It's not important. Only, uh, only the technical the parking group has the ability to enter to this parking lot. Save changes. And we have a new parking group, technical parking group. So whenever we add a vehicle into that group, it will be able to enter to all of the parking lots associated with that group. Okay, it saves a lot of time and trouble for the company, of course. Okay, company three, we said that it has another uh, two, comp two uh, departments, right? So let's add another department. This time it's the sales, uh, sales parking group. Okay, let's do like we did before. Par sales parking group and we are associating the required parking lots with that group. Save changes and we have another parking group. So all of the cars that will be added to that group will be able to access to the associated parking lots. Company 3 just saved itself a lot of time and trouble because whenever it adds a new vehicle, it just associated with the required parking group and those vehicles will automatically be able to enter to the right parking lots. And just for fun, let's add another one. Let's say marketing, okay. And marketing group, let's do it very, very quick. I want to show you how to add, how to actually add a vehicle into those parking groups. Okay, so now we have the parking group, but we don't have any vehicles associated into it. So how do we do it? Of course, with the authorized cars. When we add an authorized cars, for example, we can see here all of the companies, okay. Company one, company two, and company three with the company three and the we see here select a parking group in here we can see all of the parking groups that we have created so the sales parking group now we want to add an authorized car this is it add all of the details we already saw it before okay ta -ta -ta. save changes and automatically we have a new user okay which belongs to the sales parking group Okay, as simple as that. Now, if you want to see an overview of all of the different vehicles, we can see company show all. We can choose in the company show all. We can see that company one has one part, has this, uh, this driver with the parking, uh, with the license plate. Uh, and we can see to what a uh, parking group it associated to. And we can see the results for all of the different companies. Okay. Same thing if you want to see the results for a specific company, we just choose the required company and we can see all of the drivers associated to that company and to what parking group they, are, they belong to.